Super League for 2017. Here's Hassan Ali. Short and nonchalantly put away for the first cool and cool four of the night. All this PSL, Emma Chazard has looked in form. Short of a length and just swivel pulled. Looks like a good batting wicket. Well, how easy did that look from Emma Chazard? This is what he action short again, under edge. Oh no, that's not very good, is it? Marlon Samuels, that is very clumsy. Goodness, he's dived straight over the top of that. Mohamed Asgar dived over the top. I, he's done well here, Asgar, but Marlon Samuels with a glaring, clumsy mistake. He's actually made it a four, I think, Asgar. The ball almost came to a stop before the rope, but because he was in contact with Mohamed uh, Hafiz, the professor. Right, Luke Wright. It's the first ball he's faced this year, and he's going to put this away. Is it going to be four? Yes, it is. My goodness, he gave that an escort all the way through to the boundary. Harris Sohail, the fielder, 13 from the first over. Short, too short, can't do that. That's asking to be hit. Emma Shazar looks in the zone. He's picking up length quickly. This one too short. Cut through the offside. So he's on song. Saw him pull one in the previous over. Now just using the depth of the crease. So Emma Shazar straight away looking dangerous. Well, in the four previous matches that uh, these two sides have played, three have finished in the last over. Oh, how about this for timing? That's going to be four as well. This is amazing. Shazad has a train to catch. Getting better and better. Picked the arm ball, coming back into him and just flipped it through the onside. Easy as you like. Just into the second over, and Shazad looks like the danger man. Bold, he saw him coming. Now the advantage in the uh, final execution. It didn't bounce very much, did it? Safe to say a little bit of premeditation from Luke Wright. I don't think it was short enough. And... Hassan Ali does get the ball to skid off the surface. Oh, look at this. That is a good, clean hit. Chaka! Six it is. First of the night. Was that a clean catch? I think we've seen him before. I think that's his second catch. Either that or he's got a brother. But Luke Wright, still as you like, as he hits through the line. Just pitched too full and he's hit it back where it came from. And yes, a clean catch. Short, hammered. Asgar, the fielder. Ooh, he's, hit. he's got a good bat and he's using it well. Well, let's have a look at this catch. Was it the Pepsi catcher craw? Do we have another one in there? Let's have a look. Just. Oh, well done. Yeah, you. Well done, sir. You're in the Pepsi catcher craw. You're in with a share of a hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Very well fielded, sir. 
Right, Shazad, what a blistering start. To watch Kevin Peterson in the side. Oh, he chops it on. Hassan Ali strikes. And for the moment, the carnage comes to a halt. Runs were coming from both batsmen. And it's Luke Wright who goes after hitting a great six. The Englishman is on the way back. He's gone for 12, 31 for one. Oh, gets smashed. Well, oh, he's looking glorious, Emma Shazad. In the playoff contest, he's winning it so far. Now on 28 from 19. His form in the last four games for Quetta has been simply sensational. Probably missed out just in the one innings. And he started beautifully here tonight, right from ball one. 28 from 19 deliveries. And the really nice part about his game at the moment, he's hitting to a variety of different areas as well. So it's going to make it really hard now for Peshawar to find a good area to try and nullify his scoring. Excellent piece of cricket. He upheld the spirit of the game. Oh! <laughs> that is on the road. That's gigantic. That's the biggest hit of the HBL PSL. Oh, get him out of here, stay on it. Hey, talk about Quetta Airways. What a flight out of Sharjah back to Dubai. They've got it. They're celebrating in the streets here at Sharjah because Kevin Peterson has fatted the biggest maximum here of HBL PSL 2. 101 metre hit. Have a look at it again, folks. Cleared the front leg and boom! Unbelievable shot. Went back and hit it a mile. It's the last time you throw the ball at me, Wahab, and hit me in the back. Miles! And it's a no ball. And the free hit will be received by Emma Shazad. Well, it's all happening out in the middle, and you can sense it because the crowd is really getting into this game now. Off to a ball, can get it stuck a little bit. Fought back so well, three for 33. Oh, that's another one. That's into the crowds. It's a, it's a mini six compared to the earlier one, but still a magnificent sound of the blade. Kevin Peterson is turning it on. Any money taken? Did someone Pepsi catch a crawl this one? Dancing shoes on here in Sharjah, Kevin Peterson. And I think it's gone down, but again, the sound is so, so sweet of that big piece of willow. Down the track and connects one again. It's clubbed over square leg. Kevin Peterson is unstoppable. What an over for him. 25 now from 12, including three big sixes. Yeah, you've got to love it. 75 for one. Well, is on top of the list, 14 sixes, and uh, therefore, in a way, becomes the most entertaining batsman to watch. That last six was his 200th T26, and he's not finished yet. He's looking around from the non-strikers area, 
Shahid Afridi is coming on to bowl. This is going to be a critical spell from him. They need a wicket. They need to uncouple this partnership or pair. 44 from 26. Gets, gets it away. Find the gap. And does it so well, Emma Shazad. So, so important is Ahmed Shazad. Well, you've got Peterson moosing it at the other end and smashing these monster maximums. You've got to have Shazad against the spin. And that's the key here. Shazad has to face most of this. That's gone. It's a flat one, a different one. It's Emma Shazad who is enjoying this partnership and picking up from where Kevin Peterson has begun. It's a 50-run partnership, 54. Oh, that is magnificent. Almost carried over the rope. It's an unbelievable shot. And great batting by KP as 100 comes up for the Gladiators. 103 for the Russell one. Darren Semi is in. Oh, and gets smacked. Yeah. It's another big hit from Emma Shazad. He's liking this. So are we. Ah, oh, big Darren Semi. Welcome to the party here in Sharjah. First playoff, the qualifier, in fact. And Shazad is in the mood and grooving beautifully with this one. gigantic hit that's on the road as well Darren Sammy doesn't know what to do they are not applying brakes it's a free fall for Zelmis they do not know how to react to this unbelievable magnificent strike hitting if you're driving around Sharjah Stadium move away now because if you're driving down this road and it's you are going to get a broken windscreen dinted car get past it very very quickly because Peterson and Shazad are in a happy mood at the moment and I'm only hoping that we have enough spare match balls as this match goes on because we've lost two already yeah not only dented cars but maybe dented faces as well <laughs> got to be careful yeah this is Peterson's 101 meter hit that's that's probably hit a car and picked up by a spectator on the other side of the road. <laughs> it has been great entertainment, to say the least. Run rate is over 12 and over. Shazad, 67 from 36. Well, that's good enough. Kamran Nakmal was surprised by that edge. Nothing edgy from this partnership. This was a rare mistake, but... Well, that's gone and hit the fence in no time. Into the 70s now, Emma Shazad. Kamran Akmal, got to get your wings on, buddy. Take a step across off the right foot, which is a strong one. Get airborne early, buddy. Mind you, it was travelling some, to be fair. And when it's going for you, it can truly go for you. And Shazad is loving it. <laughs> That's hit straight back. Vahabrias, can he take the catch? It's taken. Wicket is taken. Partnership is broken. Darren Semi is, is liking it. It's an irrepressible. It's found the gap here as well. Everything they seem to touch tonight brings success for Quetta so far. He's swinging through the leg side. No half measures at all. And once he hits it, it's not a big enough ground. He can hit the cricket ball and he's swinging. Whoa! 
Another one. Huh? Out? Safely held. And a revenge of sorts for Wahab Riaz on Kevin Peterson, who smashed him into the streets earlier. Everyone was smiling then at Wahab. Well, they're smiling with him now. Yeah, he's got people out, hasn't he, consistently. Look at this. Oh, gone with the wide. Tried that change-up, slower, tennis ball-type bouncer, and occasionally you get that wrong. Yeah, it's not a natural when it comes to changing the pace a little. It's just that when, he, when he's running in and looking for that Yorker length, he's at his best. Another left arm has been so impressive, Timmel Mills. He'll be the key. Can pick wickets, keep scoring rate low. Oh, yes, sir, that hits the timber and he's gone. Accurate. And it's a reason why he's been so good in this tournament. Takes the pitch or the slackness of the pitch away by bowling it fuller length. And Riley Russo's low-key performance continues. He's not happy. Strike rate of uh, 90, 94. And it's uh, 164 for the loss of four. Self. Hello. Who wants this one? Sammy. Oh, he couldn't get there. Boundary time after the wicket of Rousseau. They needed this, did Quetta. It was Hassan Ali. And that'll do nicely. Third man's up. Length a bit wrong, I reckon. And a top edge will bring a welcome boundary. Yeah, length all wrong with third up and pace on the ball as well. So you know that these players, both Anwar and Safraz, are going to be throwing everything at it. So that length ball, with an edge on it, is always going to fly away, particularly when the field is up. So now a discussion at the top of Hassan Ali's mark at the moment with all the senior players in there. Joanna Freedy, Darren Sammy, the captain. A wealth of experience between those two gentlemen. Just giving a few words of advice on length and field as well. You know, I'd rather cover the fine points, fine leg and third man, than the straight boundary for Anwar. He hasn't hit the ball down the ground. It's been a scrappy kind of an innings, not a neat one. See, there he goes again. I think that's the part of the boundary that needs to be secured. He hasn't hit anything down the ground. At most, he's targeted the mid-wicket fence, and that's about it. Yeah, he's one of those aggressive tail-enders who loves to throw everything at it. He's trying to slash this, isn't he? Either over cover or he's trying to hike it away over mid-wicket. But there is pace on the ball. Bowling. Oh! Hang on a minute. Boom, boom, where's the dive? Oh, mix-up! And out of here! There's the confusion. And Anwar Ali said sorry to the skip. Didn't go straight away. Fingers out sideline as well. Because it is the next one down. Easy run out the end. And it's Anwar Ali who disappears back to the dressing room for a May well made 20 off 10. It's 188 for five here. Saad Nazim is in. Oh, no, 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 no. There's the panic. And the captain now has got to go. He's sprinting back to the dugout in disgust with himself. Got his own himself to blame. But you realise, too, the tail ender maybe should have crossed and sacrificed. Safra's gone for 17, 1-8. Eight for six now. They were plundered for 200. Oh, races away. Extra delivery. Not really going to please the captain, but I tell you what, it pleases those fans in the HBL VIP box.
lots to dance and cheer about. So. Yeah, not a great delivery. Barbara well, is just misfiring this one on the pads and uh, with fine leg up in the ring. Once it was connected and found the gap, had no chance. Yeah, Riaz has been one of the best death bowlers in the competition. Wonderful economy rate, top of the ladder. Got that one all wrong. Can he get it back? No, Mel Jones, he can't. Another little boundary races away. The over was going so swimmingly. Just a couple of singles, but the wide there, and all of a sudden, back-to-back -back boundaries. There's 11 off with two to go, and they're only one shy of 200. Well, they saw a picture of Shahid Afridi all frowning up because a couple of real bad ones from Barbrias. Fine leg up in the ring. Why would you want to bowl that line? Just keep it on an off stump. It's just come in, Saad Naseem. And he's going at a pace of 300. I just query the intelligence of the bowler there. The bowlers, eh? He'd be a bowler, Rambo. There you go. There's the intelligence back. That's the spot to bowl. The message got out from Rami's Raja. And now the middle pole has been flattened. Just want to check the front foot probably because Wahab, he's a bit of a naughty customer when it comes to transgressing that front line with the front foot. Seems to have sorted this problem after shortening his run up. And he's not been that bad in this HBL PSL. So it's Saad Naseem who's been castled for nine, and it's 199 for seven. This will be the first wicket. Surely, Peterson. Surely, yes, he does. Zulfikar Baba. Strikes with his first ball, yes. The enemies. Come on! Come on! Run out, run out. It's all starting so poorly here for Peshawar. Marlon Samuels returns to the pavilion. Nice start, good use of the feet from the professor. And they need much more of this Peshawar in this power play. He knows that there won't be a lot of spin with the new ball, so just going straight or just to the onside is a good option. Straight away pressure on the young le left arm spinner. Beautiful. The way that he made room, and there didn't seem to be much given by Hassan for him to play that shot. He does play some exquisite shots of these. Quite full, and the square drive just giving himself a little bit of room. And with that balance, bending low, hitting a through point, that's an exquisite shot. Find us there chasing 201. Timal Mills with his first over. England to England. Starts with a Y. Just total chaos. Marlon just running away. Not runs. Could be four. This four could have been a collision as well. Not a great over to start. Yeah, pretty ordinary over this. Ahmed I'm Shazad. Oh, some width, and Milan goes all the way. And finally, the first six has been brought up for Peshawar. A Milan Moa over square leg. This is more like it. Six number, two to one. 81 balls. Goes on the charge, Hafiz. And that's a 50 up. 
Yeah, he plays spin well. He's got confidence. He's got loads of experience from other phase. Oh. Oh, got stuck in the fingers again, and it's been dealt with. Another boundary in the overs. Two sixes and a four. 19 from it. Well, with flight, so much flight, it didn't bounce, and it's got punished down the ground. Yeah, the skipper is getting a bit frustrated with his ultra full tosses. We saw three or four. Yeah, the constant emerging players are good. Look, this is Hasan Khan bowling. Shadab Kabir hai, ठीक है इस तरह के जो उनसे लड़के हैं youngsters ये अच्छे लग रहे हैं और कुछ पुराने players ने भी अच्छा perform किया. Happens when you don't keep up with that run rate. It's jumped to over 11 and a half. And have they found a cool and cool four? Yes, they have. No. Well, they need to a ball and shots like that will certainly help. But is it out of the ground? You better believe it is. Well, he finally managed the angle, Hafiz. And this was muscled. His first six, his second six of the innings. And it was beautifully timed. Yeah, he saw it early and just cleared the front leg ever so slightly to get the bat through. Full house and Hafiz says yes, please. Wow. Down on one knee and it's... Down the leg side again, it's four. It's a cool and cool four down fine leg. Miz just hasn't arrived today. At hasn't caught hold of this, but he must have enough on it. He has not quite out of the middle, but that will do for David Milan. It's quite clever batting from Milan. Midoff was up in the circle, so he flat batted it straight back. Didn't go with that full pull shot towards mid wicket. Made sure that he hit the gap. One bounce into the fence. Well, he's quite an experienced cricketer, David Milan. He plays for Middlesex in the county championship. He's 29, 135 first class matches, almost 8,000 first class runs, averaging 38, and he's got 17 first class hundreds. So he's, he's reasonably experienced. Oh, that's down the leg side, and somehow that's that's really is poor bowling by Tamar Mills, and it is the hundred up for Zalmi into the over 102 for two. Down the pitch. Beautiful shot from Hafiz, and it gets to his 50. He's doing that. He's giving a lecture at the moment, and it's a good one. Strike rate of 150. That's his third six. It's gone wider this time, over extra. It's another six. Chaka! Money, and can go from ball one. He's fetched this for another one. This is brilliant hitting. Chaka! Well, at the moment, Hafiz is doing it all by himself. Third six of the over, fetches this from outside off stump, deposited it into the dressing room. Here for Pakistan. He averages 47. Oh, have a look at this. A little bit of sorcery from Milan this time. The runs are coming now for Zalmi. Required run rate now under 10. Nawaz. Gone. Over extra. And that is a half century for David Milan. It's a Great innings this by the left-hander. Yeah, that is his second half century in the HBL PSL in both editions. Stand the big man quiet. Hafiz on strike. Goes big, goes big, goes big. Six more. It's another Taka.
Yeah. Raining chakkas, Alan. She's happy to know. Has he got enough on this? I'm not sure that he has. Hafiz has gone. No, was is happy about this, and so too is the skipper. Oh, the professor is maybe breaking hearts with this one. A brilliant innings stage. Where's this gone? He's going to get four for this. Back out of square for a cool and cool four. Voltos belted away. Chaka! A 3D. 157 for three. Pimmel Mills has got two overs left. Slower ball and gone straight away. This is excellent from Mills. He could be the difference here. He's got this ability to pick wickets. And he's got to be different than his first two overs. Well, the set batsman has been dismissed and this is a costly... Oh, smack! Shahid Afridi has landed that one out of the stadium. No respect for... Right, get a single, get Afridi on strike. Oh, that's gone through, that's misfielded, that's a bad miss. In a situation like this, you've got to be... In deep cover. Ball him. that's a good result for Navas. It's Harris Swale who's missed one. Viv is back on his legs and, well, high fives from Viv. Safraz, they're asking the ball. This should be interesting. Shahid Afridi, where is he going to hit this one? He goes downtown and it's boom boom time here in Charger. Someone catch the ball. It's fact. Yes, it's another big one from Shahid Afridi. He's not going to hold himself back. He wants to finish this in sixes. Eight now of just nine balls. He is the king of entertainment. Strike rate of over 300. Junior Afridi is on strike. That's a flick. Will this be taken? Somebody's getting underneath that one. It's a skyer. And that's Navaz who's taken the catch. Pressure catch. Shahid Afridi's wicket is on the offside. A straightish mid wicket on the on the leg side, here we go. Oh, misses the ball. Oh, it's, it's gone. He's up. It's a cut behind. He's walking. What a tremendous result. And Sir Vivian, once again, is hopeful. This game is going to the wire. Now, two off two balls. What a dramatic turnaround this has been. It goes for under. And Zalmi, 199 for seven. chance to play or go to the final oh he's gone he's run out Safraz has the presence of mind really to remove the bales and drama continues to unfold it's Bahabrias who is on a three-wheeler back to the dugout place is going crazy and so are we up here in the gun box we all lost the ball Wahab certainly did and then it had to wait. Just want to check this out, the front foot. Make absolutely certain, nothing wrong with that. And he had to wait, he had to wait. Boom, that's a run out, surely, not a stumping. Had to be a run out, didn't the ball go in front of the pop increase? And... Boom!
Yeah, here comes the Qatar Airways jet. Taking Wabrias back to the dugout. He's out. Two runs of one ball. 199 for the loss of eight. Well, so far Nawaz has been a master pick by Sir Fraz. What an over his ball so far. Two wickets of two balls. The last batsman was run out. Well, Darren Sami from the non-strikers end administering a bit of advice and thought process. Average heart rate of everyone in this ground because no one has left. It's 12 o'clock at night in the UAE. No one has left the ground. I'm thinking average heart rate's got to be pushing up 150, 160 beats per minute. Right, expect another straight delivery. Yorker length. Quick through the air. Poles over, please. Last ball, two runs to get. Are we heading for a super over or a super wicket? He pauses. Hassan Ali is on strike. Here we go. And some, oh, magnificent victory by Gladiators. They pulled off a sensational win. And it's Nawaz who's given them the, the ticket to the final. Unbelievable resistance shown by Gladiators. They did not panic and what a masterstroke by Sir Fraz to introduce Nawaz. They can't believe it. This is a massive win for them. Darren Sami was at the non-strikers and Salmi can't believe it because they had pocketed this game about two hours back. Shahid Afridi and Hafiz setting up the run chase with brilliant piece of batting and well, quit out through. Gladiators have qualified